my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Buddha bowl. A Buddha bowl is essentially just a big bowl with a green, so either rice or a quinoa or something along those lines, and roasted vegetables, um, usually a protein, so like tofu or tempeh or beans, and then a sauce on top. And a lot of times people do like a tahini lemon kind of sauce, but today I'm going to be doing a spicy almond or a spicy peanut sauce. So the vegetables that I'm going to be using today are just carrots, potatoes, some broccoli, zucchini, and then some tofu. So I have all the veggies in a pan with some parchment paper and you don't need any oil or anything. Um, if you want to put like salt or pepper or any spices on it, you can, but I'm just going to do mine plain. And yeah, I'm just going to stick this in the oven for 10 minutes and then I'll check it after that. Stir it around and see how much longer I think it will need. So this is what it looks like after 10 minutes. Just whatever. So now I'm just going to go over to my rice cooker and put on some rice. But like I said, you can also use quinoa or you can even use like noodles or anything that you want. But I'm just gonna go put on some white, white rice and then I will show you how to make the sauce. So this sauce is really, really simple. Um, because I'm allergic to peanuts, I'm using almond butter and tahini combined, but you can also use like peanut butter, or if you're allergic to nuts, you could use sunflower seed butter or anything like that. A tablespoon of almond butter, and a tablespoon of tahini, and then the rest is pretty standard, so I'm just doing a tablespoon of soy sauce, maple syrup, I'm going to do three tablespoons. I'm doing three tablespoons of orange juice. Just add some like tanginess. You just want to stir it up and it's gonna look kind of like weird and chunky but once it cooks then it'll get all smooth. I'm adding about a teaspoon that probably. And then the last thing you need to do is just it's about half a tablespoon of cornstarch and you just want to mix it with a few tablespoons of water and then you just stir it up until it's all um, combined. Then you just pour it into the pot. Give that a quick stir and then we're going to put it right on the heat. So I find the best way to do this is to just turn it up to about medium heat and have a whisk ready and then just as it starts to simmer and thicken just whisk it and it'll get smooth. You can see it's kind of starting to bubble around the edges so you just you don't want the sugar from the maple syrup or the orange juice to burn so that's when I just start whisking it like this but don't continuously stir it because it does need time to form these bubbles kind of that you can see forming around the edges but stir it to make sure that it's not burning or getting clumpy and now it's thickening so I don't know if you can tell but so yeah that's kind of what it looks like so the last thing I'm going to do is just cut up some kale and red pepper and maybe some asparagus. I haven't decided yet. Actually, yes, asparagus. A couple stalks of asparagus and I'm just going to chop up some of these veggies and steam them and then I'll just put those in my bowl as well. Also, my dog loves kale. I should show you. Okay, so here is kale. She loves it. <laughs> Come here, say hi. Say hi. Aww. In here I just have my kale, asparagus, and red peppers. And then the only other thing I did was I just took the tofu out of the pan and I put it in a bowl with the sauce and I just stirred it around so it got coated. Now for my favorite part, everything is done so I'm just going to show you how I assemble it.
Well, I hope this video is helpful for you. My aim with doing these cooking videos is to kind of show what cooking is actually like. Also how easy and simple and fun cooking vegan food can be. So I hope that it inspires you to maybe get a bit more creative in the kitchen and cook more of your own meals. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe so you can see all my videos when they first come out. And I will see you guys next time.